What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sim News, baby. Hashtag Farm Sim News. There was no update to the testing list. However, five mods were released today. There's a new DLC coming in three weeks that has the John Deere 9RX. Vertex Design announced their next mod pack. Oxygen David Sandy Bay is done. Plus, we've got new pics of the John Deere 4940 sprayer. This might be the best Farm Sim news ever. Let's check it out. As was mentioned in the intro, there was no update to the testing list today. However, five mods were released to the Mod Hub. New for all platforms, we have Seasons Geo Southern Michigan. Updates for all platforms include Machinery Hall, Marshall ST1800, and the Gilbert Helios 15. And lastly, your new mod for PC and Mac, the IMT Plows. I've already made a video showing these off, which you can find linked below. Today's big news, a new DLC is on the horizon, the Borgo Pack will be coming to Farming Simulator 19 on all platforms Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. Funny enough, that is one day after I go full-time on YouTube and one day after our two-year anniversary. Borco make many different pieces of machinery for big-time farming. They make things like air seeders and drills, cultivators, harrows, fertilizer carts, and grain carts. In the video, we get to see the 7950 Air Cart, which is their largest model, paired with one of their air drills. It is unclear from the video which air drill that is. Also teased was the John Deere 9RX. That's right. The 9RX will be coming with this DLC pack and will be available to all players, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac players alike. The model shown off is the 9620RX, which has 620 horsepower according to JohnDeere.com, and the version in-game will range from 560 up to 670 horsepower. That's a big time power right there. It is also available in 30 inch or 36 inch tracks from John Deere in real life with 88 inch or 120 inch track spacing. Keep in mind that is from the factory. So some in-game options may be different. We get to see the European version of it here and it is unknown if we will be getting a US variant as well. I would say probably not. The Borgo DLC is available for pre-order now for PC and Mac. I'm unsure if pre-order will be available anytime soon for console players or not, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. What I can tell you is that if you are on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One and have the season pass, then you will receive this DLC at no additional cost. If you want to buy it for yourself, it is available for $7.99 US. I will have an affiliate purchase link in the description if you want to use that and help support the channel. Included in the DLC will be the 7950 air cart, 71300 air cart, 3320 76 paralink ho drill, 3420 100 paralink ho drill, SPS 360 50, the XR 770 Harrow, FMS CD 872 8, and of course, the John Deere 9RX series. I will be going more into detail about all the equipment included in the Borgo DLC in a video tomorrow morning, so make sure you guys stay tuned to that. That video will be released one hour later than normal, so at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the States. Other news from Giants today, they will be releasing a patch next week for the Platinum DLC, patch 1.2. No patch notes are known at this time, but I'm sure those will be releasing soon. The patch will be available for download on all platforms one week from today, next Thursday, February 27th, 2020. Giants are opening a new office in the States. Yes, finally. They'll be opening a new office in Chicago, Illinois, with a focus on strengthening contact with a growing player base of farm sim in North and South America. They have job openings that you can apply for now if you would like to join the Giants team. I will have links for that in the description below. Vertex Design announced during their live stream with Giants this morning that a new pack will be coming soon, the Fella Pack. This will include mowers, tedders, and windrowers, and maybe a few other bits as well. I spoke with a member of the Vertex Design team right after the stream regarding the release this morning, and they had this to say. We don't have a date yet. The swather still needs a lot of work, and there's other some smaller stuff to do on other implements as well. We hope to get it finished within the month of March, though. This will be a free pack and will not be included as a paid DLC, but will still be a DLC pack. So make sure you be on the lookout for that soon. Speaking of big things happening in March, Oxygen David Sandy Bay is now complete. He went back and added loads of more things to make the map even better and more realistic. 
Sandy Bay will be sent to Giants for PC testing sometime in March with no specific date in mind. The console version will follow sometime after with the removal of the speed cameras. He also mentions that console players have nothing to worry about because this will be his lowest slot count map yet. Features of Sandy Bay include totally new calf husbandry, two new fruits, alfalfa and rye, which totally new realistic textures from Oxy himself, five farms with three cow yards, two sheep pastures, horses, chickens, and pigs. 47 fields with missions, snow missions, speed cameras, and police cars that will fine you for speeding in certain areas that is PC only as mentioned before, nine different cell points, huge forest, drivable helicopter. What? What is that? Drivable helicopter. Seasons compatible with lots of extras like flooded roads and waterlogged fields, tweak traffic engine to have less issues and be a lot faster. New traffic includes buses, tractors, scooters, milk trucks, police cars, and emergency police cars as well. Loads of new and animated objects built upon the more successful Sandy Bay from Farming Simulator 15. I'm currently waiting on this map to release to use as our next Let's Play, as a lot of you guys wanted me to do. We will likely be revisiting old Let's Plays in the meantime that we've done in the past for like one or two days, maybe have some fun, like Mercury Farms, Old Farm Countryside, and New Woodshire, to name a few. So keep a lookout for that. Plus, we will still be continuing our series on Charwell. And lastly today, custom mining reveal even more incredible screenshots of the John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer. They mentioned that it is still in progress, but is being made specifically for all players, console and PC alike. The dry box, lights, scripts, options, and interior are all done. And they go on to say that the next time that we see the sprayer will be with the sprayer on it. I've seen three options for tires as well. We have Michelin Normal, Narrows, and Narrow Duels. Other than the 9RX, this is one of the most anticipated mods in Farming Simulator 19. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, drop the GoHam fam, and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. Lots of stuff is happening right now. Farm Sim's going crazy, and I am loving every minute of it. Yeah, yeah. All that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace!